I want y'all to know that people judged me. People made me feel like I wasn't gonna get nowhere. I ain't had support from my family at one point. I, I had a lot of people hating on me on my channel at one point, right? I wanted to give up. So any of my aspiring content creators, smaller content creators, up and coming business owners, artists, whatever you wanna do, right? I understand how it can feel, bro, trust me. Rise and shine, rise and grind. <laughs> it's early with it, 7 a.m. I'm at work at Walmart. If you ain't been keeping up with my videos, your boy started at Walmart a couple days ago. I gotta get to the grind, you feel me? I gotta grind here at my nine to five, and I gotta grind here on YouTube at my dream job. You heard me? The grind never stops, you heard me? I got some really, really big goals I'm trying to hit this month on my channel, and I ain't gonna be able to do it without you, so hear me out. If you don't know, YouTube is my dream job. I've been on YouTube for the last five years of my life. My channel is monetized. My channel been monetized for the last four years. But this month, specifically, I'm trying to reach my first $10,000 a month on YouTube this month. I don't need you to do anything else but just watch my videos when I upload them. That's all I need you to do. That's what I love about YouTube. When people, like, when they locked in, they stay locked in for a long time. So I know a lot of y'all have been watching me for a long time. And if you don't know who I am, just go watch some of my older videos. I promise you will love me. You will love my personality. You will love my journey in life. This is a once in a lifetime channel right here. You ain't gonna find no other creators on the platform like me. I do feel like I'm a very unique content creator. So I think you will like me if you're new here. So stick around and, you know, tap into the uploads. But anyways, y'all gonna see me grinding like never before. I'm uploading content every single day. So my dream job always comes first right so even if i'm grinding at my nine to five uh i still gotta make sure i work towards my dream every day a little bit of advice for you you heard me use your nine to five to invest in your dream so i mentioned this before i really don't need to work at walmart right now uh but i'm here because i'm like okay well i can use this money to invest into i don't know maybe a better camera right because I, I record all my videos on my phone uh, maybe i could use it to use the extra money here to travel different places right so me working here at Walmart is solely investing into my content, right? Um, because I make some really decent money um, for my channel right now, y'all, that I can live off of. So I thank you, right? You know, I don't talk about what I make on YouTube often, uh, but, you know, I'm technically full time on YouTube right now. You feel me? Uh, so I'm very thankful it wouldn't be possible without the people who watch me or you upload. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I'm just trying to show y'all a little bit of, you know, work-life balance. You heard me? I'm trying to, you know, relate to the, the nine to five grind. You feel me? Have some work ethic in me. I never really had strong work ethic. Uh, but I've always been very passionate about my ambitions and my goals in life. Um, and I haven't always had the smartest mindset when it came to nine to five jobs, right? I always think nine to five jobs are like they never get you nowhere in life that's not necessarily true if you go towards the right career path but for me personally i just don't see any you know regular job being a future for me um at least not as of right now in my life i'm i'm dead set on being a content creator business owner actor uh i want to do a whole bunch of other stuff you feel me and i'm really good at it you feel me and like i mentioned yesterday if you ain't see it i'm gonna remind you that's why you gotta watch me let me remind you if you have any big goals or dreams that you want to pursue in your life this is what you have to do whatever you want to do right it don't matter if it's music no matter if it's youtube it doesn't matter if it's owning a business you have to find a way to monetize what you do right it's very very important that's why a lot of people always give up on what they want in life everybody always want to be successful everybody always want to be entrepreneurs everybody always want to be business owners but what a lot of people don't do is actively work towards it every single day and find a way to monetize it it doesn't matter how you monetize it it doesn't matter how much money you earn right at the beginning as long as you making something right a lot of people don't know this. That's the number one dream killer for real. It's because people ain't making money from what they want to do. I did YouTube for three years straight without making any real money. <laughs> you heard me? It took me a year to get monetized for one. And once I did get monetized, I only made $30 a month for the next three years after that. Now, if that don't show you consistency, 
perseverance like i wasn't making nothing and a lot of people wouldn't even think that's worth it like if i told you to start a youtube channel today and then you was only gonna make 30 dollars a month for three years after that you'd be like this ain't worth it that's my point exactly you have to stay consistent now i am full time on youtube right i'm making some really good money but it didn't come it didn't happen like that and i didn't give up because i was making 30 dollars a month for three years straight right if i would have gave up i wouldn't have been where i'm at now on my channel and i just really need y'all to understand that because it's just it's a real thing right it's a real thing and some people will actually make you feel like you a little bit crazy when you actually pursuing something you want in life you know what i'm saying because it's just not normal for for most people right a lot of people when when they can't do something or they won't do something themselves they try to make you feel like you can't do it you know what i'm saying so if you want something in life figure it out first figure out what you truly want and lock in on that for the next 10 years right i mentioned this yesterday if you didn't see it i said this when you pursuing something in life you have to be prepared to work towards that for at least 10 years right anything less than 10 years don't even pursue it that's important because y'all have to understand like people don't become doctors overnight people don't become successful lawyers overnight right people don't become worldwide celebrities or famous youtubers or athletes overnight you know what i'm saying this stuff take years you know what i'm saying and so do what you gotta do right until you can do what you want to do so use your nine to five and save whatever you can out of that right obviously you got to pay for your living expenses and 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 food and utilities and you know maybe you got a car no kids whatever right take care of use your job to take care of your regular everyday living necessities and then take some type of money to invest into whatever it is you want to do right and then find a way to monetize what you want to do you know what i'm saying so it's very very important to have a mindset of i'm gonna do this for the next 10 years and a lot of people do not think like that y'all i'm telling y'all people do not think like that and that's why a lot of people don't become successful success is for the people who want it you know what i'm saying who want it bad enough i said i'm five years into my youtube channel i'm prepared to go for another 10 years you know what i'm saying that's perseverance that's consistency right and just because you ain't making progress or just because you ain't where you want to be after five years that don't mean you give up that means you work harder that means you keep grinding you keep learning you keep getting better you know what i'm saying so even though i'm here at walmart and all the other jobs i don't worked on my channel if you've been watching me i don't work <laughs> i don't worked a lot of jobs in my lifetime right and i just showed a, a good amount of those jobs on my channel too um and that's just me just kind of finding my way in life right and i've been judged consistently not only on the internet but also by my family because of my lack of ability to to hold and maintain a job like you won't believe me i worked i cannot make this up i worked at least 150 jobs in my lifetime probably more you know what i'm saying that's not something to be proud of but that's just it shows like you know a job is just not really for me long term uh so i just had to get smart and, and realize like okay well what really made me quit all those jobs is just thinking like, damn, I don't want to be here for the rest of my life, right? But now I done got mature. I'm like, okay, well, I can use this to fund my dream, right? So every hour that I'm here at Walmart, you know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking of what I can use my first paycheck towards, you know what I'm saying? So my first check from here, I'm going to buy me a camera. The next check, I'm going to use that to travel somewhere, you know what I'm saying? The check after that, I'm going to use to, you know, whatever, whatever, else, well, however I can make my content better, right? You know, my, my dream is just happens to be a content creator, right? So you use your job to invest into whatever your dream is, right? And if you look at life that way and just look at your, your nine to five as temporary, it's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. Like, let's, let's be realistic here. We all have to survive, right? Not everybody was born through a rich family. Not everybody got connections. Not everybody, you feel me, are in positions to just, you know, be able to make money obviously if you got money it's easier to make money when you got money but a lot of us don't come from money so sometimes we got to grind it out make our money and then invest into our dream and then you know the money start rolling in but 
I just want to, I really just want to motivate some of my people, man, because like I've, I'm like a, I'm like living proof, man. Y'all done seen me. If you haven't seen me, man, like you got to go really watch my videos. Like you will really be like, damn, bro, this nigga really different for real. Excuse my language. Y'all be like, this dude is really different. Like he's really passionate, right? I may not have been able to hold a, a solid job my entire life, but one thing I've never gave up on in the last five years of my life is my YouTube channel. Right. And I always explain that to people like, yeah, I may not be able to hold a job, but I'm still here. I'm five years in. This the, this the longest job I ever held in my life. It's because it's what I want to do. Right. You got to pursue something that's going to make you happy. Something that don't feel like work to you. This don't feel like work. I love making content. I love vlogging my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just something I always love to do. I've always been an entertainer since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I just figured out a way that I can make content and make money. And YouTube was just one of those platforms. And I also make money on uh, Facebook as well. You know what I'm saying? For, you know, same thing, for making content. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, man, I just want to show y'all that you can do whatever you want to do. I know that's a very cliche saying, but you really can. Because you got to think, man, that's all we got. This is one life that we got. You know what I'm saying? I ain't made all the right decisions in my life, right? But everything that I'm doing is 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 just for the for the the it's for my future. You know what I'm saying? I'm always thinking about my future. Right? A lot of people live in the right now. I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about how I can make more money, how I can elevate at my dream job, how I can get better at where I want to do, how I can elevate. I'm always thinking about how I can elevate in my life. And trust me, y'all, I know what it's like to live in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that life is really tough out there for a lot of people, bro. People really out there living check to check, right? Like, a lot of us are out here trying to hold down things on our own, and that shit is extremely hard to do. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I see it every day with family members. I see people getting evicted. I see people struggling, living check to check. I see people having to go live with family members, right? Life is really hard out here. Like, and that's and that's what I'm scared of because it's like, okay, you can have a good career at a, at a, at a, at a good job, but if that job ain't paying you like enough, then you will always be only able to afford, you know, maybe a car note, your rent and some food. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to elevate. So even if you are going down a nine to five route, please just like look at ways to, to move up in your company. Like you don't want to be at your job for, for 10 years still in the same place, right? Find ways to elevate, move up, you know, find a different career where they allow you to move up. You know what I'm saying? Life is about elevating and not everybody can be successful business owners. Not everybody can be successful content creators. Not everybody can be successful in life. We need people to work regular jobs. We need people to work at Walmart. We need people to work at McDonald's. Like if they, we didn't have those people, then how, how is life going to happen? You know what I'm saying? And so, yes, it's like, I understand that the nine to five is like, we need people to work those jobs, but it's okay to start at a nine to five and then move up and then let the next generation come work that nine to five and move up that's how the cycle should be you know what i'm saying because obviously we all got to live and survive right we need people to, to work these jobs so there's nothing wrong and i'm very grateful for the people who who work the nine to five like when i go to mcdonald's and you know where tim hortons get my coffee i'm like damn man i'm, I'm thankful y'all here you feel me bro so i'm very thankful i'm sure everybody in the world is thankful for the people who make life possible but the goal is to start somewhere, elevate, and then the next generation, start there, elevate. That's how life should go. You know what I'm saying? You should never just be stagnant in life. And, uh, you know, so if you got a dream job, work towards that. If you want to move up in your company, do that, right? The goal in life, right, is just to live the life that you want to live, right? To live a, a, a comfortable, safe, very fulfilling life. That's what we all want, right? And money just so happens to be a necessity. We can't do any of those things without money. Every human being in the world, we all have the same goal, to make as much money as we can so we can live the best life possible, right? That's the end goal, you know what I'm saying? That's why we all pursue dream jobs so we can have that dream money, right? That's why we all look for the best paying jobs so we can make the most money, right? We need money to live a good life. We need money to live comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And you know? It's just anything is possible in this one life that we get. Uh, and so that's just my message for you. 
and I want y'all to know that people judge me. People made me feel like I wasn't gonna get nowhere. I ain't had support from my family at one point. I, I had a lot of people hating on me on my channel at one point, right? I wanted to give up. So any of my aspiring content creators, smaller content creators, up and coming business owners, artists, whatever you wanna do, right? I understand how it can feel, bro, trust me. But you gotta ask yourself, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want a good life? You know, that's up for you. Can't nobody make that happen but you. You're going to go through a lot, right? And people not supporting you is just a big part of life. You know what I'm saying? But that's up to you to make it happen. I'm going to always make it happen no matter what. I don't care what I go through in life. You know what I'm saying? My goal at the end of the day is to give me and my son the best life possible. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? That's my purpose in life. Find your purpose in life. Work towards it. If you want a good life, go get it. If you want something in life, go get it. Ain't nobody stopping you. People will try to stop you, but don't let them stop you, okay? So what I want y'all to do, I want y'all to comment what you want to do as your dream job, right? Comment your progress. Comment, you know, how far you want to go. And I want everybody else to, you know, tap in and, and give some advice, right? I want us to be a community and help each other because we all we got in this life, y'all. We got to be there for each other. We got to care for each other. Be kind to each other, okay? Let's help each other. So... I love y'all. I hope this video inspired you, gave you some motivation. Um, and I just hope I can continue to give you value and good entertainment out of my content. That's my purpose here for you. So with that being said, I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. <laughs> yes, sir!